Welcome back to NECA Aliens Series 9. And following my Frost figure comes the one of my favorites from the line. And duh, it's my favorite because it's an alien. And that is the, the albino drone, warrior xenomorph, whatever you want to call it. And now as soon as I saw pictures of this guy, I was like, cool. And then I looked at more pictures and I saw this tongue and I was like, Ugh. I didn't like it. Um, but I was really excited to get this tongue because I knew it was going to be cool. I knew it was going to be on a bendy wire and I knew it was going to be so fun to just pose around and just do crazy things with it. Uh, and right now I have it in a very kind of normal, normal for a weird phallic tongue thing. Um, pose. And the funny thing is that when, as soon as I got this guy and I saw the pictures on the Nike's eBay store, this was behind him. And I was like, why is that behind him? Turns out, here's my guess why it's behind him. It's because this is going to go into Toys R Us stores. At least not mine, because mine's a fudging cheapskate store. Um, but, you know, kids are going to walk down these aisles, and they don't want to see, they don't want this giant phallic-looking tube, you know, right out there. Um, they kind of had the same problem with the Toys R Us exclusive engineer and trilobite two-pack from Prometheus. Um, which I'm hoping to pick up and review for you guys, along with the Deacon. The Deacon, the Deacon is the one I want the most, but whatever, the trailer back is cool too. Um, uh, so yeah, that's my best guess why they put that behind this box. So, let's just check this figure out, see how good he is. So the first accessory he comes with, and the only accessory, I think he's one of the only aliens that comes with an accessory, is, as previously mentioned, his phallic tongue piece. It's so well detailed with this little vagina-looking facehugger polyp here. That was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Um, he's got kind of wrinkles there, so we can imagine that this would fold back in there and just go... Um, I try not to think about that. You can see it's really glossy and gooey and it looks like one of those weird snake things like if you just didn't see this piece but it, it looks like one of those weird snake things i'm forgetting the name but they're like amphibians oh god someone correct me in the comments um i know somebody's gonna do that but you can see it's well detailed with the ridge kind of going up and then you can see the holes where the thing taking this out of the mouth because it's pretty much a pain to get this in but if you look at the figure you see that there's a hole back there you can just pop that in there. And you got an alien with a, with a tongue. So I'm going to pop that in. I'm going to leave this out and then I'm... And then we're going to... Of the figure. Sorry, my camera screwed up. All f and that's all for the mouth. Articulation-wise, this, this guy's head's on a ball joint. His ch He can move back and... His arms can move up and down. His arms, yeah, his arms can move up and down, backwards, forwards. He's got a double-jointed um, elbow. His hands um, can move all the way around and up and down. His chest, his waist here is on like a swivel, is on like a swivel, I don't necessarily know. Um, his tail is on a bendy wire. His legs can move out that far, go back that far. He's got double-jointed knees, which is always helpful. His feet are on, have like an ankle rocker pivot. Um, and he's got two articulation there. That's all for articulation.